Hey, how you doing? Welcome back in. It's really nice to see you. So, a few days ago we did your eye makeup for your event that's coming up and today we are going to be working on your full face of makeup, right? Okay, so I'm really excited. The first thing that we need to do is to determine which eye makeup look that you actually decided to use. Okay. So you liked you liked the um, bold one. Okay. So if I remember correctly, we used. Let me see here. Nope, there was the palette, I believe. The um, was it this purple one? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Or was it this darker purple? No, I don't think it was. It was that. Okay. Yep, that's right. Yep, you're right. We did the smoky eye. It was the black smoky eye with the um, grifter color right here. Okay. I think that's an awesome choice for your outfit. So we have a couple um, things that we have to get through today to make sure that we have the perfect full face of makeup for you and you feel good about everything. Right. The first one is actually going to be the um, foundation. So I had um, went ahead and written down um, one of the um, basic colors that you used in your foundations that you gave me. Um, your, I think it was your CC cream, and then another one that you used, a Mika Medium Coverage by, um, I think it was Mac. So um, I actually pulled four different foundations out that we use, and um, these are the ones we're going to color match you on today. Okay, so they are the Chanel, um, this one is Smashbox, Lancome, and then um, this is also Chanel, so I have two Chanel, but they're different, not only different colors, they're also a different uh, formula. So one is a uh, Vita Lumiere and one is Pro. So um, we can talk about which formula you like more. And then I also have a Tarte uh, makeup as well. All right, great. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to pull up your hair, okay, with this clip. your face that's great okay now I am going to get my makeup remover spray we're just gonna spray that and wipe your face okay So we have all of your makeup off, your face is nice and clean, so we're going to start today with a primer. Um, I have a lot of different makeup in my, um, down here in my bag, so um, you're going to have to just bear with me a little bit because um, as I apply, I can tell kind of your skin type, what works best for you, and so I'm going to kind of adjust the products according to that. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to put a moisturizer on before we get started. And that is for uh, making sure that you don't have any like flakiness or dryness on your face, okay? So I'm going to use the same, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. So I'm going to use a new moisturizer that we used last time. This is the uh, Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer Cream. All right. And I, hopefully you don't mind, this has a very light rose scent. This is by Paracan 50. Alright, perfect. Okay. Alright, perfect. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely like a really fresh smell. 
So I'm gonna set that aside. And we're gonna go in with a primer, okay? So I'm gonna be using, um, this is actually a eye primer, so we're gonna use that, but we're also gonna use a general primer for your entire face, okay? Before I go in with the primer, I'm gonna just use this corrector. Um, it's like a little bit of um, it's a serum, and it's just on a couple of this area of my face. So if you hear that loud sound, that is my humongous dog upstairs. Oh. Ruining a video. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this to your face. in a little bit you have a couple dark spots on your chin that is my problem area too you can probably see I have dark spots on my chin but this is what I use to get rid of those and then on your forehead just a few up here yeah so my dog is a 150 pound Rottweiler so you understand why she sounds like a horse upstairs so it is nice to have my studio downstairs so that when clients come and I do their makeup you know I can go up and let her out if I need to um, but she can be a little disturbing sometimes okay so I'm just looking through here I want to make sure we get the best primer for you um, your skin is a little bit dry we did put that foundation on but okay let's... all right this is a good one let me get my brushes i'm actually going to use a sponge for this primer and this is just um i actually have two I'll, I'll let you pick i have a revlon photo ready which is the one i recommend uh this one's a little bit thicker and it's going to hydrate your face a little more and then i have this poreless face primer this is just an Ulta brand. Revlon. Yeah, I agree. It's a much better choice. So we're just going to put some of this on the sponge. There we go. Okay, and I'm just going to dab this all over your face, okay? Just try to keep as still as you can, no problem. Okay, on your nose there and the chin. Okay, perfect. Okay, so while that dries a little bit, I'm going to do a little bit of color matching on your skin. Okay, I have this um, Stila palette here, and I just have some of the foundations in these um, compartments, and I'm just going to use that to hold against your skin, just to get a good idea of kind of what I think we might be looking at here, okay? So I'm just going to use this, yeah. little bit to your skin just on your side of your cheek here okay it's a little too dark yeah I think we might need to mix colors a little bit we'll see you do want to make sure you don't have like a line you know yeah okay so I'm gonna move through these so my thing right now is I'm thinking we're between the Lancome and the Smashbox. So I'm going to start, I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to just start with a small brush that's not even a foundation brush. I just want to make sure we're moving in the right direction, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of this on both of my hand, back of my hand here. just going to try these out a little bit on your skin. Just putting this on the cheek, okay? Yeah, we're gonna mix them. I don't think I have 
have an in-between color and I think that's what you're gonna need yeah you are okay so let me just wipe this off my hand and then I'm just going to get this makeup remover that off of your face right there So we are going to just go ahead and mix these two and I have this little palette here and all it does is it has these little boxes in it and I can mix the color so let's get started. Okay, here's the first one and the second, I'm just going to put a little bit less of this just because it is a darker color. Alright, perfect. Get my brush. So I'm just going to go in with a foundation brush and um, we already did that color corrector on your chin and your forehead so I don't think that we need any um, co more cover, extra coverage there. And so we don't need any concealer. Okay, here we go. So I don't think we'll need a double layer of foundation. Your skin is pretty clear, but um, if we do, we can always go in with that next, okay? So um, I'm gonna actually apply some primer to your eyelids now, okay? Oops, sorry, I just dropped some there. Let's put that on there, and then I'm gonna get this brush, and we will just Do you want to do a contour at all? Yeah, I can definitely do a contour if you want. I don't think you necessarily need one. Here we go. Sorry about that. Um, hmm. While we do a contour just on your cheek areas to get a nice defined jawline, I'm thinking, yeah. yeah, I can absolutely do that. Let me just get my palette here. My brush. Okay, and I'll just do this dark color here. Yeah, I agree. On there. Going on your cheeks, okay? Okay, and then on the other side. I 
everything is looking really good. I'm actually going to use this very, very light shimmery color. And I'm going to put this as a base coat on your eyelids. So we do have some shimmer when we do the smoky eye. Alright. that on my brush ready We need to get the eye makeup eyeshadow on and then I think we'll be good. There's a couple areas on your eyebrows I'm just going to go ahead and tweeze out, okay? So I think it's time for us to get started with the eye makeup. Now I'm going to just start with some primer on your eyelashes and your brows, okay? And this will just be drying while we're, we start with the brows, okay? is just going to put the kind of shape your eyebrow your eyebrows really good I might not do a ton to them we'll see and then I'm just gonna go in and do your lashes okay on the other side Perfect. Now we're going to start with the eye makeup itself. I'm going to start with a black on the outer lid. And again, we're doing this black right here, okay? Okay, and we're going to put this on pretty heavy, so just keep your eyes closed for just a second, okay? Okay, that side looks pretty good. Down the side. You know I like to go in and just blend with my fingers a little bit so I'm just gonna start playing this out I'm gonna put a little extra on my hands and blend out up here okay same thing over here the Urban Decay palette and I need a kind of a little bit of a small brush for this so just bear with me for one second okay mm. this one yeah 
I just like to make sure I have the right brush, the best brush for it, you know? All right, and we're gonna go in on the inner corner with this. little bit more product okay. and then I have this really fluffy brush and I'm just gonna start blending this out on top okay If you want the perfect smoky eye, you gotta blend a lot. Okay, just keep still. Okay. Let's see. I wanna do a little bit of like a white shimmer in the very corner. So I'm going to use this called Polyester Bride right here. You can just watch it if you want to see it. Very beautiful color. It's actually one of my favorite colors to wear like eyeshadow wise. I get a good brush. Alright, so I'm just going to use this really small little packing brush little bit on the corner of your eye. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, a little bit more on the side. This palette has some really pretty colors. Let me show you. I'm just going to swatch you like two of them. There's a palette or a, a color on this palette called Mildew. It's this green one. They're so shimmery that I love these. This one is oil slick and it's interesting because it's black but it has like this kind of like greenish undertones. Yeah, those are some of the colors. They're pretty pretty good palette. I like it. All right, let me just get this off of my hand. Okay, now we need to do some highlights and I'm going to blend out your contour a little bit more before we do that, okay? So I'm just gonna use this sponge I have. And we're just going to blend that in just a tiny bit on your cheeks, okay? Ready? Alright, and then on the other cheek. So I'm just going to go in with a, if I can find it one second, okay. There it is. Okay, I'm just 
gonna go in with this eyebrow pencil. I'm just gonna draw, oh, fill these in just a little bit, okay? that blend that back in okay perfect and then I'm just going to finish these up with this spoolie with that final gel on them. So I'm switch hands, I'm not in your face. Okay, now let me just, we're gonna just powder your face, okay? Oh, whoa. One second. That's not the color that I wanted. going to powder your face just a little bit in those like really oily spots, okay? Okay, that should just keep it from getting oily and then I'm going to sorry, brush these out just a little bit more they look so good okay we're gonna go in with some highlighter on your chin here just a really fluffy brush Or I'm sorry, highlighter on your cheeks. I think I said your chin. Anyway. <laughs> what? Okay, here we go. On the side. Okay. And then I need to put on your mascara. not to forget that. Alright. Here we go. Just stay really still, okay? Okay, then I'm going to come back and just fill that in. Okay, right side is good. And Sorry, there's my dog moving again. She is so loud. All right, and then now your mascara. Okay, and then I'm going to give you some setting spray. 
and I'm going to just apply a really cute lip gloss and we can um, we can change up the lip gloss on the day of if you really want to because obviously we'll be doing all this again okay this is just a very neutral color I know you said you wanted to go neutral with the lip our last makeup trial run before the event your next appointment before your final appointment where we're gonna do everything will be your hair so we will um, you can come in with dirty hair we'll wash it and then we will style it okay I will have magazines here but I really would like you kind of do some research yourself and decide what kind of hairstyle you're thinking that you want to do um, and we can always talk about it when you get here as well if you want to consult somebody on the team here before call in feel free um, we can offer some suggestions based on your hair type what type of style you want to go for okay so I will see you in a few days for that appointment and I hope you love your makeup if you have anything you want different for the day of the event just remember write it down text me and we will make sure we change that up okay all right I hope you have a great afternoon all right